I was thinking a little bit more about my recent upload, The Self-Attesting Primacy of Being. And I was thinking, you know, I really like this idea of using Sai's own arguments against him. And in that video, I basically used one of Sai's little nonsense sentences to answer a question that he might ask. And validly, I might add. And I thought, you know, what would be neat would be to use Sai's own argumentation style against him. So, you know, the... Uh, the avoidance of questions, the redirection of the conversation, and the reframing of his opponent's arguments. And I thought what would be even better is if he could use that argument style to expose the inherent dishonesty in his apologetic. And I thought it might go something like this. Sly might ask, how do you know you exist? And your response would be something like, I'd be happy to answer that, but first, <laughs> let me ask you a question. Could there, if there was a world in which God does not exist, but I do, would it be impossible for me to know that I exist? Now, if Sai is being intellectually honest, to use his own argumentation style, he would have to concede that it would not be impossible for you to know that you exist. After all, existence is self-affirming, assuming you're sentient and not like a rock or something. But there's also a good possibility that Sai might refuse to answer the question. He might say something like, I'm not leaving my worldview to entertain your hypothetical. In which case, you could end the debate right there. You've just exposed his intellectual dishonesty. After all, there's no point in continuing a debate with someone who has asked you to entertain a hypothetical wherein an all-powerful, all-knowing creator reveals things to him such that he could be certain and grant him that avenue to knowledge and certainty while denying you the hypothetical world in which God does not exist but you do. Now, in the event that he concedes the point, your next response would be something like, you've just granted me an avenue to knowledge and certainty without God. I think this would be an interesting experiment, because it would expose his level of honesty. If Sai was intellectually honest and concedes that point, he's pretty much just destroyed the foundation for his apologetic. After all, the presuppositional apologetic is founded upon getting you to grant him an avenue to knowledge and certainty, while getting you to unwittingly deny yourself your own basis for knowledge. And so, at that point, you'd both have an avenue to knowledge, you're back to an evidential argument, and that's pretty much been shattered. Uh, by Sai's own, own admission, that's not a place that he would want to return. Let me know what you think.